Man, I didn't see it coming. How did the narcissist fool me so long? Well, it's because the narcissist is an IV drip. It's slow and steady over time. Let's talk about it. Ba-dum, ba-dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Welcome back, my friends. Hope you're all having a great day, enjoying the week, and becoming authentically yourself. And I did a couple short videos today on this, and we're going to talk about why the narcissist is a slow drip IV of poison. Why isn't it all at once? Why does it take us so long to catch on? And again, I'm so grateful for all of the likes and all of the subscribers. And if you're new here, I am JT and I have a channel called Authentically Yourself, helping everyone heal and become the best version of themselves. So let's talk about why in the beginning it's very difficult to see through the illusion. Because the narcissist has been doing this their whole life. They should all be Hollywood actors. They deserve an Oscar. Um, narcissists, are professional actors. That's what they do. That's what they've been doing their whole life. Everything is a story with them. You know, it's played out. It's not who they really are. And you know this as you've been in a narcissistic relationship. As time goes on, you see who they truly are. And this is also the case in many relationships. A lot of People, a lot of the world wears masks, different masks to hide different parts, different characteristics, things they're ashamed of, etc. But with a narcissist, it's all a mask. It's all a giant illusion. So the way I look at it is, you know, the narcissist is pretty much when you first meet them, they're hooking up an IV. And in that IV, you know, when they have the bag and you're in the hospital, let's say, um, you know, you're in there for five days getting surgery, whatever, you know, they might put in uh, some morphine after the surgery, right, to make you feel good. And then they might put in some something else, Dilaudid or something, because the pain becomes too great. And, it, and, you know, it's in with all the sodium and all the electrolytes and everything, all the nutrients you need to make you feel good and to make you feel healthy. And then they keep adding different things. But then maybe you have cancer or whatever it is, and they have to add this and this and all these other things, right? And the narcissist is doing this. You know, you've been hooked up to an IV with them since the beginning. And when they're giving you the love, they're like, ooh, okay, here's the good drugs. And you're feeling good all the time. You're getting serotonin and dopamine constantly. You're getting love bombed. You feel great. This is your soulmate twin flame. Well, over time, what do they start doing? Start putting in a little bit of poison. Just a drop. A little, little bit of poison. Start devaluing, making you feel bad. And what happens is it slowly starts getting more and more and more and the lies and the manipulation and the cheating and the devaluing, it just keeps adding up. Because now that they've hooked you, you know, they've got you on the hook, they gave you all the love, and now you're addicted to them because your brain is releasing dopamine and serotonin, you're an addict. Now they switch and they start putting in more and more poison. And over time, the lying, the cheating, the manipulation, everything gets worse. And they have to do this because otherwise you wouldn't stay. You wouldn't get stuck. You wouldn't get in a toxic cycle. That's what they want, a cycle, you know? And that's why it becomes so difficult. Even after you get away, a lot of people end up going back multiple times or they let the abuse slide because the narcissist knows they've got you addicted to them. They've got you in the palm of their hand. So what ends up happening is over time, it builds up to a point where your entire system shuts down. You know, your nervous system knows that something is wrong and you are literally dying on the inside being around the narcissist. You know, it seeps into your mind, body and soul. It seeps into all aspects of your life. Seeps, it seeps into your, your family. It seeps into everyone else. Because you're affected, now you're infecting everyone else. You know, a narcissist is a succubus or an incubus. They're a parasite. 
And once a parasite or a virus gets in your system, it becomes very difficult to get rid of. You know, it's kind of like um, malware. You know, in the beginning when you get malware, you might not know what it is, but you might get like one pop-up every so often, or your computer starts running slow. And eventually, what ends up happening? More pop-ups, more pop-ups, until eventually the computer doesn't turn on. That's what's happening to your system. Your system gets slowly overloaded over time and then shuts down and to a point where it cannot function no longer. You have been erased. Your identity has been stolen. Your soul has been stolen. You know, and they have to do this slowly and gradually so that they can keep you long term and keep the abuse going long term. A narcissist, again, what are they? They're takers and as empaths or givers. So if they can do this slowly over time, they continue to get more because that's all that's what it's about to get more. A narcissist is never content. It's never enough. It will never be enough. So by doing the slow drip IV, the slow poisoning over time, they are able to extract more potent fuel supply from you. You are a more potent energy source. You know, it's like, oh, okay, I can get, I can get some dinners here and there, but oh, if I do this over time and switch back and forth with the poison and the love, I can get, I can extract potent energy, potent supply. I can get everything I've ever wanted from them. Again, narcissists are strategical and they're very calculated. They do this. This is a manipulation. You know, by doing it over time, you're not going to be able to see it. You know, hindsight's 20, 20, 40, 20. You know, whatever that saying is, hindsight, 40, 40, 20, 20. I don't remember. But uh, <laughs> if we could see it in the beginning, we would know to walk away. But again, they're actors and they've been doing this their whole life and they're very good at it. So this is a way that they can get us to give them everything over a long extended period of time. You know, if, if they just went straight into devalue, straight into lying and cheating, you wouldn't even second guess it and you'd just be move on to the next. Okay, I'm done. This person's a little crazy, right? But once they get you addicted, even though you know at a core level that they are toxic, they are not good for you, our brain, because we're getting the dopamine and the serotonin and we have a soul tie and we have a trauma bond and all these things, all this deep connection, it becomes so hard to get rid of them. And even after they're out of our lives, it takes a long time to heal. You know, if you look back at all your relationships you've ever had, think about the ones that were n not narcissistic or had lower narcissistic tendencies, maybe had some empathy. How easy was it to get over them compared to getting over the narcissist? A million times harder, right? Again, because it's we were duped. We were duped. And once uh, all those hormones and the chemical imbalances happen and the trauma bond and the soul tie it becomes, okay, we have to break all these different connections. And with the narcissist, it's on a spiritual level, which is much, much more difficult to break. It's not just on the physical plane, it's on the spiritual plane. So by poisoning us slowly over time, they're able to get everything they want. And then they're still, even after we're out of their lives, because we're energetically connected, they are still extracting supply because we're thinking about them. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. That's why it's so important to go on the healing journey. I say it in every single video. Got to go on the healing journey. You got to go through that pain and suffering in order to become your most authentic self. And by going on that healing journey, you will never get with another narcissist ever again because you will see the red flags much quicker in the beginning. I can see through the bullshit so much faster now. The covert narcissists are a little tricky. You have to really pay attention. But once you've done the research, you've watched all the videos, you've seen the knowledge, you know, you will second guess yourself. Oh, maybe there's something a little off by this person. I noticed these same qualities that the ex-narcissist did. Hmm. And then you test. You test. You have to become a shit tester. Kind of how like 
women test men. You have to become a shit tester. You have to see if they hold up to their authentic selves, if that truly is their authentic self. Got to constantly be testing and vetting because the narcissist is a actor. So you got to watch for where the mask slips and then start to put all the puzzle pieces together. In the beginning, there's like a million puzzle pieces and they're scattered all over the world and we're trying to put it together and we can't. It's like impossible to figure out a narcissist in the beginning, especially if you don't know what they are or who, or if you've ever been with them. But now that you've done it, when you get into a new relationship and you're vetting properly, you're gonna see red flags and you're gonna be able to put puzzle pieces together so much faster. And that's what's most important is that you heal and you learn the codependency issues you have in your life from your own childhood. You learn to say no, you learn to not be a people pleaser and you learn how to set strong boundaries. And that's not just in relationships, that's with friends and coworkers as well. Because in a world right now where everyone is greedy, lustful and have a taker mentality, and as empaths we have the giving mentality, people are gonna wanna abuse that power. You know, uh, an unawakened empath is a narcissist's biggest dessert. But an awakened empath, an empath that's gone through the narcissistic abuse and has seen their authentic self and knows themselves, will never be able to get taken advantage of again because they know how to set strong boundaries. They know what to look for. They know their self-worth and they will never let anyone dictate who they are. That's what I want for all of you guys. And I know that you can get there. So just know that on this journey, it is difficult and painful and you were poisoned slowly over time to have your life ended, essentially, like on a spiritual level. But uh, you will get through it. I promise you that. So enjoy the day, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Oh, one more analogy. I forgot to put this in a short. Narcissist, have you ever seen the movie Snow White, the Disney movie? It's just like that. The witch, super ugly on the outside, right? Gives this crazy bright red, most delicious looking apple to Snow White. But on the inside, that apple is straight poison. She bites it, delicious apple. But then what happens? Poison, poison. It's exactly what the narcissist did to you. You know, they are the wicked witches. They are the master illusionists. So don't think, don't feel bad for yourself for getting duped. You didn't know. It, we're all awakening now. You know, thank God for YouTube and the internet. Because without that, no one would know what a narcissist is. And still, I'd say 75% of the population doesn't know what a narcissist is. It's only the people that have been through it and then do the research afterwards. And thank God we have the internet and are able to learn about this disorder so that we can fully heal and never get one of those types of people back in our lives. Okay, so enjoy the day, guys. Please like and subscribe. Let's get this out to as many people as possible. Comment if you notice this slow drip poison. Comment if you are on your healing journey and you are on your way to becoming your most authentic self. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Later. I can see the fire that we made just to save